Okay, so in the last video we talked about some different options for feature engineering in Python. In this video I want to go through some performance considerations and what you'll find is that performance is very contextual. Sometimes supply will be faster, sometimes list comprehensions will be faster, sometimes map will be faster. But what I also hope that you'll get out of this is just a familiarity with the time it module so that you can time things on your own when you want to. Now there is one main takeaway that I want you to leave with. I'll get to that at the end. Okay. So, as I mentioned, we're going to be using the time it module. We'll need to import it first. The way the time it module works is you pass it some setup code. So this is going to get everything ready in the um, temporary environment that it creates for itself. So you define that setup code as text and I'm putting it here in the setup ob a, an object called setup. You can see that we're importing pandas. You've got to import things. Um, it doesn't pull them out of the global environment. You are going to bring in the data and then we're going to create this variable age because we need that in our data because this function create old indicator is what we're going to be running on that age series or that age feature. So again, this is all just prep work that doesn't get taken into consideration with the timing. And we pass that to the setup parameter for the timing module. This line right here is the actual code that we're going to be timing. And we're going to run that a thousand times. For the apply function, we're going to be using this function that we created here. For the list comprehension approach, we're going to run the same setup, but we're just going to really focus on timing this bit right here, the actual list comprehension. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so 1.9 seconds, 1.97, 6 seconds, so close enough to 2 to call it 2. And here right at 2 seconds as well. So you can see that there's not much difference in this case between list comprehension and using the apply method. So given that list comprehension is a single line versus five for the function definition and then one for the actual call for apply, so you've got a little bit more parsimonious code. Maybe you go with a list comprehension. Okay, let's run apply versus map to see how they compare. Again, we do some setup code that we pass to a an object called setup. We import pandas, import the data, create the age feature. Here what we're doing is creating a categorical age description. So this is just a variable that has one of two values, or a uh, series that each row has one of two values, either old or not old. Old is if it's over 12.5, otherwise not old is the value. We're just creating that so that we can work with it in the function and in the mapping as well. So what we've done for the apply approach is we've defined a function called create age categories int. What we're testing here, what we're timing is how fast each of these approaches takes this categorical age description and can return an integer via value for each of these string categories. So this function, given that, takes the category age description feature and outputs a 1 if the value is old, otherwise it outputs a 0, so our new series created from this will have values of 1 and 0. And here this is the mapping version of it, so we've created a dictionary where old is associated with 1 and not old is associated with 0. Okay, so that's the setup we need to do. Same as before, we pass that setup object with our prep code to the setup parameter. And this is the actual code that we're going to test for this one. And here is the actual code, the actual line that we're going to time for the mapping approach. And as before, we're going to, the number of iterations is going to be a thousand. All right, so not sure if I ran this again. So let's do that. Here we go. Almost two seconds. little over two seconds. So we can see that in that case map was a little bit slower than the apply approach. Alright, now you've seen how to 
time things in a couple of different ways and for a couple of different things. Uh, again, it's going to be very contextual, which uh, usually which works best for you, apply, map, or list comprehensions. And as we saw with the first example, sometimes speed isn't your only consideration. Sometimes you care about the code being short. So uh, keep that in mind as you're thinking about whether you need to optimize and maybe it will help you avoid early optimization. There's one place though where when you find that, uh, and I'll also step back and say pandas is quick in general. It's very rare that you'll hit an issue with one of the apply or map functions that you get to the point where you say, all right, this is too slow. I've got to figure out some other way to do this. But it does happen. And when it does happen, you want to know this trick. And the trick is that NumPy arrays are almost always faster than using pandas series. And this is because under the hood, pandas series are NumPy arrays, but they've got some extra meta information on top of them. And so working through that meta information slows things down. So if you really care about the speed of your code, if your speed is really important for your code, and you're willing to sacrifice some readability, because that's what Python, I mean, sorry, that's what pandas gives you, is extra readability and extra simplicity for data munching tasks. If you're willing to sacrifice that in, in pursuit of speed, then you can just explicitly convert your data to NumPy arrays and work with them. And so that's what I'm going to show you in this last example to give you a hint of how much the performance improvement can be. So we're running our setup here, importing pandas, importing NumPy, and we're creating just a random data frame here. And then we're going to assign that data frame some column names so that we can work with it in pandas. Okay, And then we're going to just convert that whole data frame to a NumPy array here. So we've got DF is the data frame, DF array is the NumPy version of that. All right, and you can see that what we're doing is just some basic calculations where we're grabbing some columns out of the middle of the data frame, adding them together, and then dividing them by another column. And then the same thing down here, but we're using the NumPy array versions. And we're gonna iterate through this 5,000 times. All right, so run this and then we'll run this using pandas and you see that it took a little over two seconds and then we run it with NumPy and we see that it took half a second so you can see that you can almost always get some extra speed out of it out of your code if you're willing to sacrifice the readability and the uh, simplicity of working with pandas with the other ones, it's not always that cut or dry when I'm, when you're choosing between apply and map. It's not always that cut or dry which one's going to be better. Again, it's going to be pretty contextual and something may work for you in one situation or may speed up some uh, your code in one situation but might not work in another. Um, but with pandas and NumPy, uh, it's almost always going to be a speed improvement to use NumPy. It's just a question for you want to make that sacrifice of making your code less readable and losing access to the things that pandas data frames offer you. Okay, so that's the end of this section. In the next video, we'll talk about group by and ag, as promised. Those are really good for data manipulation and feature engineering, and they'll dovetail nicely with what we've talked about today. So have a good day, or good night, or good evening, whatever it is in your part of the world, and I'll see you next time.